guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, I'm excited to be sharing my most expensive record with you. Now, I usually don't spend a whole lot of money on my vinyl. However, you would be surprised how expensive and hard to find some of these 50s and 60s records can be. Depending on the press and the record, they can sell for hundreds if not thousands of dollars. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing what record I bought how much it cost me, and tell you a little bit about the group. All of this and more coming right up. Okay, so a few years ago, I discovered the group The Marvelettes, and the minute I first heard their song, Please Mr. Postman, I was absolutely smitten, and I knew in that moment I had to get this record on vinyl. So I went to eBay and I started searching for this record and I found that an original press in G plus shape was selling for $500. I thought, oh my gosh, that's bananas. There's no way I'm paying that. So I went to Discogs just to double check if that was really the going rate because sometimes on eBay people list vinyl at really crazy prices. But it turns out this record is really hard to find and that in fact was the going rate. So I thought to myself, okay, there's no way you're getting this record, but I bet you can get a reissue. Nope, there are only a few reissues out on the market and they were released in 1982, but they're pretty hard to find as well. And you can buy them from England for $150 plus $30 shipping. So there was no way I was doing that. So the crusade for this record continued. Now, fast forward to last Christmas, I was scrolling on Discogs for another record and an advertisement for the Marvelettes, Please Mr. Postman came up and I went, whoa, I gotta click on that. And I thought to myself, okay, something is wrong. This has to be a fake. I have to be dreaming. This cannot be real. And sure enough, this record was listed in VG plus shape for only a hundred dollars. And I did check, it had the blue Tomala globe in the corner and the white label. And I thought, okay, Katie, you would be dumb if you didn't take a chance on this record because this could be an original and you could be getting it for only a hundred dollars and it's in VG plus shape, which is pretty good for some of these old fifties and sixties records. So I checked the seller's reviews. He had all five star reviews. It seemed like it was coming from a legitimate record shop. So I went ahead and bought it, but I was on pens and needles until this record arrived because it was shipping media mail, which there's no tracking. So I was worried it would get lost or get damaged. And then I wasn't even sure if it was truly legit. I mean, the reviews seemed good and the record did seem legit online, but I wasn't sure, you know, it could be a scam. But when it arrived, it turned out to be a stone cold original and it sounded great. So I think that I did well for $100 for this record and I've really been listening to it a lot. So it has really lived up to the $100 price tag. Now this record is pretty cool. I'm gonna show it to you now. This is the Marvelettes, Please Mr. Postman. And this is just a cool record. The songs on this are phenomenal. I just love the Marvelettes. They've got a certain something that's just amazing. Now this record was released in 1961 and what's pretty cool about Mr. Postman is that it was the first Motown song to reach number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100, which was a really, really big deal. This record is just phenomenal. I love the jacket. The art on this is just amazing. And then what's really cool is on the back is it still has an original price tag for $4 in the corner. I just love stuff like that. Now, I also love the little marketing tactic that they used on this record. So I wanna to read to you the back of this record because I think it is so cool. This says, please Mr. Postman, the Marvelettes. A personal letter from the Marvelettes to you. The last time Mr. Postman walked by our house, he delivered to us the happiest letter we've ever received. And it was the news that you have made, Please Mr. Postman, our first hit record and given us the release for presenting this album to you. After listening to our album, we would really appreciate you helping us to decide what your favorite song in this album is. And maybe your favorite will be our next single release. Just write us a letter and let us know which song you liked best. So why not give Please Mr. Postman your letter today and be sure to tell him, deliver the letter, the sooner the better. 
I love that. I think that is so clever. And can you imagine how many letters they actually received in the mail? It's got the address and everything on the back. Just some cool graphics and a great little marketing tactic. Now, the Marvelettes are a group from Inkster, Michigan, and they really did produce some great music. But their records are going to be really hard to find. If you want Playboy, you're not going to really be able to find that for a good price either. So that is my next major hunt in vinyl records is I want Playboy by the Marvelettes, but I'm not going to spend $400 on it. Now this has some great tracks on it, so let me tell you what's on this record. Side A has Angel, I Want a Guy, Please Mr. Postman, So Long Baby, I Know How It Feels. Side B has Way Over There, Happy Days, You Don't Want Me No More, All the Love I Got, I Know How It Feels, and I Apologize. So awesome, awesome record. If you're gonna look for this record, you wanna look for this that has the blue Tamala globe in the corner, and you wanna make sure that it has the white Tamala label. If you have those two things, and it's got TM228, you know you have a Stone Cold original. So if you are a collector or a reseller, you definitely wanna be on the lookout for some of these old 50s and 60s vinyls, because you can really find a good bargain sometimes on these in thrift stores and antique shops when people really don't know what they have. That may be your best bet in finding some of the Marvelettes old records. If not, you might pay a pretty penny online, unless you're lucky and get someone that doesn't know what they have. Now, if you want an original of this, like I said, most of them are selling between four and $500, even in G plus shape. Now you can also get a 45, and those are selling more reasonably at around 50 or 60. However, if you want an original 45 with the paper sleeve, you're gonna pay close to 90 bucks for it. Now you can get reissues, and they're pretty expensive as well, and there are not many of them listed. So your best bet is either getting lucky and finding someone that doesn't know what they have, or buying a CD. And yes, they do have CDs, and they're pretty plentiful, and you can buy them for only about $9. However, you're not gonna get that warm, dynamic sound that you get with the vinyl, and that's why I had to have this on vinyl. So guys, that was my most expensive record. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about this record, and I hope it inspired you to share with me down below what your most expensive record was, and maybe a record you're on the lookout for. Now, if you guys are interested in doing a little video on your most expensive record, I would love to see it. So tag me over on Instagram, or share a video to your YouTube channel, and I will be sure to watch it. So guys, before my next video, I will be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl and I hope as always you will stay in stay safe and bench YouTube bye bye now what?